now i am taking the magnetic field intensity on the axis of the bar magnet let this is a bar magnet this is the axis of the magnet this is the point p this is now center o this is your s and this is n so now total length of this one is uh, uh 2l this is not 2l and the distance from o to p is suppose r this is r then this is your r minus l so much is r minus l and this will be your r plus l this is so much here i am taking the length of the magnet to be 2l that is the effective length initially i am noted to it by the l but do not uh, confuse about it because this may be taken l or 2l depending upon the calculation yeah we have to easiness when we take this 2l uh, in some of the books this is written to be not 2a so do not confuse about this the distance can be written either 2a or 2l or the l here the distance o is the center of the magnet let 2l equal effective length of magnet op op this is equal to r so this <coughs> distance ns that will be r minus l and uh, just like uh, i have told you the in electrostatics we take the positive charge to find the elect electric field intensity here we will take the unit north pole unit north pole to find the uh, intensity Uh, of the magnetic field so now here we can have this is your b1 and this is your b2 this is b2 the magnetic field intensity intensity due to north pole at point p now this is equal to b1 equal to mu not upon 4 pi into m upon r minus l whole square where m equal to magnetic pole distance magnetic pole distance so <clears throat> this is away from this so this is in n p direction along n p n p in this way 
the magnetic field intensity due to s pole at at point p this is now your b2 equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into m upon r plus l whole square now this is in the direction this is along p s p s in this direction now clearly this we can have that this b1 and b2 are opposite to each other and this b1 is more than b2 clearly b1 is greater than b2 and the angle between them b1 and b2 is 180 degrees so they are opposite to each other b1 and b2 are opposite to each other each other so the angle between them is 180 degrees so resistance therefore resultant magnetic field intensity intensity B equal to B1 minus B2. So now we have this mu naught upon 4 pi into M upon R minus L whole square minus mu naught upon 4 pi into M upon R plus L whole square. So now this is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into M into this is now your 1 upon r minus l whole square minus 1 upon r plus l whole square so if you simplify to this one you will find that this is uh, mu root upon 4 pi into n into this is now 4 r l upon r square minus l square this is now whole square on simplifying to this one, you will find to this one. So this is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into m into 2m into 2r upon r square minus l square whole square. m into 2m, this is the dipole moment. So B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into 2 m r upon r square minus l square whole square where m equal to m into 2 m is a magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment 
सो दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एट द एक्सिस एंड नाउ वी कैन हैव द स्पेशल केस इफ आर स्क्वायर इज वेरी वेरी ग्रेटर देन एल स्क्वायर देन व्हाट वी हैव this b equal to mu not upon 4 pi into 2 m r upon r raised to power 4 l square will be cancelled so this will be cancelled by this one this is not 3 so we have this b equal to mu not upon 4 pi into 2 m upon r t so now here we see that uh, this depends upon the magnetic moment of the magnet and the distance from the x uh, center of the magnet so in vector form <coughs> in vector form b equal to mu not upon 4 pi into 2m upon r q as we know that the direction of the dipole moment is uh, uh, from south to north here this uh, the direction of this b direction of b this is also away from the north pole it means that this is along the direction of magnetic dipole moment So here the B and M are parallel to each other. Here B parallel to M. It means that angle between B and M. Now this is equal to zero degree. Or this is now your zero uh, degree between them, or is it now zero pi uh, that we can call uh, uh, call it to be? So now conclusions are what? Conclusions number one. This B is proportional to M. The magnetic field intensity. is proportional to the dipole moment of the magnet for a given magnet this is a constant for, for but for different magnets it is not different one so if we are having this knowledge of this b then we can have uh, the calculation of this m the dipole moment and second thing that we see here this b is proportional to 1 upon r q R T. So you see that if the distance is doubled, then this will be one upon eight times. And this is uh, the distance is tripled, then the intensity will be one by twenty-seven of the initial value. So the intensity decreases very rapidly as the distance is increased. If the distance is decreased, then the value of B will increase very rapidly. So we are <coughs> that this B one upon B two is equal to this is now your R two upon R one raised to power three. So if we know the distance uh, from the bar magnet, and then we can find to this uh, the ratio of B one and B two at the different points. So <coughs> this is the magnetic field intensity on the axis of the. bar magnet so thank you very much